One of the greatest decisions I ever made in life was to follow Christ. Now people ask me, why do I think that this decision which I made in my life to follow Christ, why it's the most good decision? You know, the Bible has given us the proof. In fact, every book of history, uh, in fact, other religious books also give this one proof that people tried to reach God by their own efforts, deeds, actions, and their performance. But in this belief, when you believe on Christ, on, in this belief, you do not have to perform, you do not have to act. Now, when you and I look in the Old Testament, people sacrifice goats, camels, cows, buffaloes, and stuff like that to cleanse them from their sins. They did good to poor, they did everything they could ever have done to make themselves holy or to make themselves somehow near to God. But they were not able to do it, they were not able to accomplish it. Think about uh, that law is if you do 99 things good and if you perform one wrong, you will have to repeat all the 100 again. And in some beliefs, if you do one wrong, then you might have to do it 10 times more or 20 times more but the world needed somebody who is perfect in his physical and his spiritual and his social and in his personal man in his flesh was not holy 100 percent so we needed somebody who is complete man and a complete god jesus christ the son of god came to save us who was a hundred percent man and who is a hundred percent God. So today, when you believe on Christ, you do not have to perform something to please him and to become uh, the part of the family of God. It's a simple one step you have to make. Believe on the Son of God, Jesus Christ, accept him in your heart and you will be saved. You and your family will be saved. And the, and the Bible says that whoever believes on Christ is now the family of God. We are the parts of the eternal kingdom of God through Jesus Christ in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve. God was pleased with them. You know, people try to please God with their performance. But the reality is this, that God is pleased with man from the first day this world was made until today and for eternity. God is pleased with man. The only trouble is this, that man tried to please God with this performance the only performance today anybody have to do is to just believe on the son of god and through him we have salvation we have eternal life we have eternal peace we have eternal joy we have eternity and above all we have a unbreakable relationship with god the father that's why i say that the greatest decision i made in life is to follow christ because then I don't have to do anything or to please God. Everything has been done through the perfect sacrifice of Jesus Christ himself. Today I have believed on him. I have became the son of God. And that's the good news I have for the world today. Whoever will accept the Lord as a savior and his redeemer, he will be saved. He and his family will be saved.